Prince Charles says radicalization of young people alarming. The Prince of Wales has described the extent to which young people are becoming radicalized as alarming and one of the greatest worries. In an interview with Radio 2's The Sunday Hour, Prince Charles spoke of his hopes to build bridges between different faiths. He also spoke of his deep concern for the suffering of Christian churches in the Middle East. He is currently in Jordan on a six-day tour of the region. The prince arrived in the capital Amman on Saturday night and is due to hold talks with King Abdullah II later. On the radicalization of young people, Prince Charles says, Well, of course, this is one of the greatest worries, I think, and the extent to which this is happening is the alarming part. And particularly in a country like ours where you know the values we hold dear. Prince Charles and Prince Ghazi of Jordan the prince is in Jordan at the start of his Middle East tour. You think that the people who have come here, are born here, go to school here, would imbibe those values and outlooks. The frightening part is that people can be so radicalized either through contact with somebody else or through the internet, and the extraordinary amount of crazy stuff which is on the internet. He told the BBC program he believed part of the reason some young people are radicalized is a search for adventure and excitement at a particular age. Constructive Paths The Prince also discussed the work of his charity The Prince's Trust in Combating Radicalization. He said, What I have been trying to do all these years with the Prince's Trust is to find alternatives for adolescents and people at a young age, for constructive paths for them to channel their enthusiasm, their energy, that sense of wanting to take risks and adventure and aggression and all these things. But you have to channel them into constructive paths. The Radio 2 program covers visits by the Prince to Armenian, Roman Catholic Chaldean and Syrian Orthodox churches in the UK, and contains accounts from members of these denominations who have had to flee persecution in Syria and Iraq. He said, I particularly wanted to show solidarity really, deep concern for what so many of the Eastern Christian churches are going through in the Middle East. Protector of Faiths Christianity was founded in the Middle East which we often forget. From a morale point I hope it showed they were not forgotten. I wish I could do more. Many of us do wish we could do more. I think what doesn't bear thinking about is people of one faith, a believer, could kill another believer. That's the totally bewildering aspect in our day and age. He suggested that when he becomes king, he may still be sworn in as defender of the Christian faith. There had been speculation that the title could be changed to encompass all faiths. However, he said he believed an important part of the role was to be a protector of faiths, defending every religion in multicultural Britain. During the interview, the prince also considered how different communities could live alongside each other. He told the program, I think the secret is that we have to work harder to build bridges and we have to remember that our Lord taught us to love our neighbor, to do to others as you would do to you and just to go on despite the setbacks and despite the discouragement to try and build bridges and to show justice and kindness to people.